Hello and welcome to my craft room and fun fold um, card for for Sal's card making swap. So I hope you can join me. So I've just hopped on one minute early. So um, if you hop on, say hi. So I'm just going to have a look over here and see if I can't find myself on, in the group. Hopefully I can. So let me look up there. And if I can't, well I won't be able to say hello. But I, looks like I'm live. So okay. Um, just wondering whether to go live in that one or okay. can't find myself there. Okay. So I'm live, but I don't think anyone can see me in this one. So I'm going to hop out. Okay. So yeah, I just can't see myself up here. Okay. And if I go down the page. No, no, I can't see myself live because I won't be able to. So I might hop out of here. I'm just going to get off for a second. I don't know how I. I'm good, Sally. I just can't see comments, so I won't be able to. Like, I'm just wondering whether it's in. Like, whether I go out of this and go into the group itself instead of the card swap one. So, what do you reckon? Because I can't see, I can't seem to, because I think it's, I didn't do this group. Um, what I mean is I, I didn't do the, the, you, you um, invited me to that. So, I don't know how I can, like, comment on anything. So, do you want me to hop out of here and, or just continue on so every now and again I can stand up maybe go into the event well I am in the event so but I just can't see comments or if anyone comments I won't be able to see it and I just don't know if I'll be straight it's looking good at the moment but actually I'll, I'll have a little look and see if I can um, okay right I'll click on here and I'll click on that one and see if that one makes a difference. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there I am. I've found myself. Yep. Okay. Hopefully everything's down there. I'll click up that one. Okay, come on. Alrighty. I've found myself. I'll just hopefully... Hi Susan, hi Sally. Um, do you have a laptop to look at? I, I'm, it's on there now. I've found myself. I've got the laptop to the side. I do a lot of live videos for my um, Facebook page um, for my business with um, Stampin' Up. So I I know how to do all that. But anyway, um, so I don't know if anybody else. Um, will join us because I know a few people can't but anyway I'm going to show you what I'm going to create uh, what I'm going to make I'll put that one aside for a second I've got one because so I just wanted to show you you can put it into a normal um to a normal envelope like this is just one of our mailing envelopes so and this is what I've created and this is our it's a called a trophy card and this is what it looks like when it's um folded up and to open it up, you just push it down, and easier said than done. And that's got stuck to my, okay, it's stuck to my flower. And then you just push it down, and um, it sits like that. So it just sits on your desk like that. So, and to close it up, all you do is just push. You've got to push on the inside of the card, and you just push it up, and. And then it just collapses back down so 
So that's the one. Um, I made another one yesterday because I just wanted to try it with some different um, flowers. So, hi Lee, thanks for joining. You love this this um, card? Yeah, it's pretty cute. So, and this is the other one that I made, and I'll just this one was the first one I made, and I wasn't really happy with it, so I um, changed it up a little bit. So, and this one just closes down. So I'm, I've used two different, because um, like I said, you need like a stem flower and some dyes, or this one's a punch and this one's a die. So I just wanted to show you some different variations, but um, I'm going to create two of the cards today, two different ones, because I've got some left over, and I'm going to show you how you can get two pieces of, um, hi Adele, thanks for joining. Hi Brenda, thanks for watching. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how you can get two cards, like um, two, like like your DSP or designer series paper or pattern paper, however you like to call it. So I'm going to show you how you can get like two lots, but I'll show you anyway. But um, yeah, so they just pop back up like that, and um, they just sit up like that. So that's what I'm going to create. So if you've got all your supplies, um, you can craft along with me. So I hope you do. So it's an easy card to make. So um, if you haven't got a trimmer, you can do it with a, with a knife, with a, an X-Acto knife. Um, so, but... I'm going to be using my trimmer today. So, if you would like me to get started, I will start. So, and I'll pop them up there to the side. And so, I'm going to grab my cardstock first. And I'm going to use two different ones today. So, I'm using um, some Poppy Parade. Like, I, I, I'm I, using all stamping up um, cardstock and that. So, but um, so I'm going to use a poppy parade and I'm going to use my paper out of the in colours. And I'm also, I've got another piece here that I'm going to do a purple, like this is a fresh freesia. But I've also got one of these pieces cut, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll use that one as well. So I'll put that one aside. But I'll show you how to um, cut. So if you've got any size paper like this is an A4 paper so I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to cut these down to the measurements so pop that up there a little bit more so we've had a really cold morning this morning so I've had my heater going and hopefully the sun doesn't beam through because I've got two but two windows in my my craft room either side of where I'm sitting so in the middle so I've had to move the curtain over the other side to block the sun. So, alrighty. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to pop this, open up the arm on my trimmer, and I'm going to cut this down to ten. Actually, I'm going to go that way first. So I'm going to go four and a quarter. And and ten. So four and a quarter and ten. So I'm going to pop that aside, and I'm going to pop this piece in here. And I need. I'm just trying to remember. I've lost my measurements. So I need two and three quarters by five and a half. Is that right? Yeah, two and three quarters by five and a half. So I'm going to do my five and a half first, and that's and two and three quarters. Yep, I'm just making sure. Yep, that's right. So that's those two pieces, and I'm going to cut these other ones. So I've got all my pieces cut. So this piece here should be four and a quarter. It is so four and a quarter. So I'm just going to cut that. It was a rough bit there. I didn't like. So 
Okay. I'm going to cut that one at 10 as well. So I'll just do two cards at the same time. So it just sort of give you a different variety of... Um, and I'll show you the stamp sets that I'm going to use in a minute. So this is another piece. And this is good to use um, your scrap pieces with. So two and three quarters. And five, five and a half. Okay, so that's all that. I don't need any of these pieces. I'll get rid of all those. Pop them over there. So getting back to like to get your um, pieces here, we're going to cut, you can use, this is a six by six, so I'm going to show you how you can get two, um, like two matte pieces um, for two different cards. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one inch off one side, so one inch, then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to cut another one inch off that. So, okay, line up there. I'm going to line up. And then I'm going to cut this piece down to four. And I'm going to do the same thing, ooh, same thing with this piece. So we're going to cut that down to four. And that gives you like two pieces there. And then I'm going to cut this piece down to two and a half because this is five by five now. It should be five by five, five by five. So I'm going to cut this in half at two and a half. And from one six by six piece, that's give you, I'll, I'll go through all that again in a second. So from your five by five piece, like that, six by six, you've got your two panels to go on the front of your card, and then you've got two panels to go on the front. So, and then all you've got left over is these two little pieces that you can keep for something else. So, but we're only going to be using one of these. So I'm going to pop those back there and I'll put them ones away. So I'm going to show you again. Um, this one here, this is the same. This should be six by six, and it is. So all I'm going to do, because I've already got this piece here cut, and I hope it's just the right size for me, and it is. So I'm just going to cut one one inch strip off this, and because I'm not going to um, cut this one up, but I can keep going and cut my other strip down here, and then and then do my two halves again. So I'm going to pop that up there and I'm going to turn this one around and I'm just going to put this one at four. So, so now I've got my strip and that for that card there. So that card's already done. So I'll do these, pop these all aside. So I'm going to get my two base pieces, these ones here, and I'm going to start scoring these. So, um, if, is anyone following along with me? Because if you are, um, am I going a bit too fast? Because I tend to, yeah, I go really fast. I'm sorry, but I, so. Hi, Tonya. Thanks for joining. I'd better just check to make sure that I've said hello to everyone. And I think I, you're not late, so that's okay. I really haven't started, so. But thanks for joining. So. But I'll, I'll slow the measurements down, um, slow. I'll slow it down a little bit so, and I can go through it again. So, alrighty. So I'm going to pop this over just a little bit. So my first score, I'm going to score this at one and one and a quarter um, lots. So one and a quarter, and then everything, every like score line is going to be one and a quarter increments. So, so my first one is going to be one and a quarter. I'm just going to. Make sure I have my, yes, I am, but I can keep up. Oh, that's good. I wasn't organised with my papers. We'll make it after things. That's okay. So I just wanted to know because I do get a little bit, but I do go over my measurements again. So, um, so one and a quarter. So get, get your cutting blade out of the way. So one and a quarter. 
and then I'm going to slide it over to two and a half. Okay, two and a half. And three and three quarters. And five. Five and six and a quarter. And that one's just a little bit. I've got to make sure I'm on the right. Yep, six and a quarter. And seven and a half. And eight and three quarters. Okay, that's that one. So I'm going to do repeat that again with this one. And Turn that around. So I'm going to go one and a quarter again, two and a half, three and three quarters, five, six and a quarter. Seven and a half and eight and three quarters. But I will have I'll have all the measurements in the video below. So I'll just add them all and so you can like all the scores and that. So I'm just gonna make sure that they're yep. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it in and I like to pop it in with the the scores coming up. So I'm going to pop it in, um, pop this piece of cardstock in, and I'm going to line it up at five. And this is where I'll need to stand up. So if I get too loud, because I'll be above the camera. So I'm going to put this end, so you've got your 10 inch side along, up, like going along that way. So you line it up at 10, um, five inches here. And then you're going to use your, score at uh, your cutting blade and I'm going to hop this over so that needs to be at five eighths of an inch so on this side here but you can use a ruler if you like and and it, your knife to cut it and I'm just going to sit this at five so I'm just going to eyeball my blade so I can't really see it because I'm sort of and this is just I'm um, I'm sort of eyeballing it here because I can't really see. So I think it's at five eighths there. So that's like the half inch, the half inch, um, you just go one notch past that. So what I'm going to do is I've got that where I want it and it's lined up there. So I'm going to cut right down to three and five eighths. So I'm just going to go down to three and five eighths. So that's about it. So now I should have a little cut in there. And I'll show you in a minute what we're going to do there. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to pop my piece in at 5 inches. And I should be already at the 5, five and 3 eighths there. Now it's moved. That's okay. So I'm going to bring it back this way. So that's 5 and 3 eighths. So I'm just going to go... From five and three eighths all the way back up to my five eighths and that gives you your little your little slit so I'll show you in a minute so okay alrighty so I think that's all I need for that I may need it again in a minute but I'm just gonna pop that there so so there is my um, pieces already. So I'm just going to fold all those up. And that one. So I'm just going to fold all these. And that one's got a little bit furry. That's okay. I can get rid of all that. Didn't clean my... Right, a little tip for that, if you have a little furry edges, and just going to see if I can try to find it. I 
should drop something there. I do have, and probably not over here now. Oh yeah. So I do have a little bit. Look, if you get that, like fairy edges on there, just get a bit of sandpaper. I'd, and that gets rid of all those fairy bits. So <laughs> I feel like I'm in a tool shed. So. And that, that gets rid of all the furry edges, so that one was okay. But um, so, but I have found that um, if you live in cold climates, like, and the humidity and that sometimes does that too. So, but yeah. So anyway, so that's that part. And I'm just going to fold these pieces here. That one's already done. Okay. Right. So that's the, that part of the card starting to take shape. So now these pieces here that you have your, so I'm going to be decorating two at the same time. So I'm going to have that piece on there and that's going to be that piece and that's going to go on there and that's that piece. So, but before I do that, I need to, oh, I forgot about that. I need to cut my white pieces as well. So I'll show you on my first card. Um, forgot about that. Okay, so I need two white pieces, so two and a half by five. So, so two and a half. So, what is this one? It's five. I'm going to cut five. I'm going to cut this at okay, two and a half. Two and a half by five. So, because I'm doing two pieces at the same time. The viewer's just doing one. So I'm just going to have two and a half. Okay. And um, I'm going to keep that aside for another card. Because, oh no, that's right. Because I need those as well. So that. And I'll show you what I've already done. Oh, sorry, I just hit the camera. So, okay. Um, I can see pencil marks on the... I can see me putting pencil mark in the cutting slits. I'm just reading comments here, so... Um, I like this card. I like the look of the card. It's it's a lot of fun. You can decorate it um, however you like. So, but once I get going, I sort of tend to yeah forget that I'm live sometimes. And alrighty, so what I'm going to do now is before I stick these on here, if you can see on this one here, I stuck my white piece. Like this is my first one I ever made. And I stuck my white piece there, the same as, um, like, the same height as here. But it tends to get caught when you um, try to push it through. So that's why I come up with this one here. So it's all the way down. So I've made these longer so you can't see them. And they, they do, they glide a lot easier. So that's why I come up with um, this and I done that one, one a little bit different. So I'm going to glue these pieces. So I'll be using some glue as well as some tear tape. So I'm just going to glue all these pieces here onto my pieces. So, and like I've tried different um, different ways of doing. Uh, I've thought of different ways of doing this card. So. And then I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to stick this piece. And this is the panel that you write on. So, but um, I thought it like putting it and make sure it's the right way, putting it all the way down so it slips right in. And like when you glue it in, that it's a lot smoother. So that's that one. So, and you can see how quick quickly they. Um, 
they come together. So, okay, I'm going to pop that one on there. And I love fresh freesia at the moment. So, it's one of my favourite colours um, in the Stamping Up colours. So, but I am a bit of a purple girl, so my craft room is all purple. So purple, mint, green and grey. So I'm just going to stick that one on the back of there. And you can just see how quickly it goes together. Make sure that's in the right way. Okay, a bit of fairy bits on that one. So some of the cardstock doesn't go, like different ones tend to fur up a bit, have that the fluffy edges on there. So that's those pieces, and and if you want to, I I like to put my this piece here on like um, last. So, but it's completely up to you. You can add it now if you want to, but um, you'll see how easy it is in a minute. So I'll pop those up there. So what I'm going to do is on this one here, I've actually got a stitch rectangle, which is going to go on that one. But I'm going to just use an ordinary cutout piece, so I'll need that piece again. That one might be just the right size. And it is normally when you cut it off, it's the right size um, piece. So I'm just going to, I'll need to cut that one down a little bit. But I'm just going to bring in my little cutter this time. So, okay. Right, so this piece here, I'm just double checking. It's one by four, so one by four. It is two and a half by five. That's I think that's two and a half. No, okay. What was that piece? No, I've lost my measurement here. Okay, white, two and a half, three and a half by two. Okay, so that's just a little bit, um, so I'm just going to cut that okay. two and a half, two by three and a half, so I'm just going to snip that one. Okay, so that's my other piece for that one. So I just like the stitch rectangle, I thought it was nice, so I might, I might change it up and have much with the stitch rectangle on that one. No. I'm going to go back to that one because there's a lot going on in the background of that one. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop both of these over. So I'm going to do both cards at the same time. So, and I'm just going to get some tear tape and I'm just going to pop two pieces along the bottom and I'm going to grab my scissors. So I need those. So I'm just going to stick piece along there and okay and, and just a piece along there okay let's do, let's see if I can get that off I tend to like to tear it and then I'm going to pop the same piece along here as well so, okay. This this is really sticky. I might have to snip those ones. So I haven't got a phone call from my mum saying that her heater is um, cold. I actually stuck a I stuck a piece of white um, paper on there, and I had do not touch. And um, hopefully she doesn't. Um, because every morning she rings me up and says, oh, it's cold in here. And I said, have you touched the heater? No, I haven't touched the heater. And um, you go over there and she has touched the heater. So and it drives me nuts sometimes, some days. So, but anyway, like, um, she's lucky she's got me to keep an eye on her. Alrighty, so I'm going to pop these pieces here. So I'm going to take the tear tape off here. If I can get it off, because I don't have nails these days. So, and it doesn't want to come off. That's that piece there. Okay. 
I have nails sometimes and then I I get annoyed and frustrated some days and then I I just break them all off so so what I'm going to do is pop this piece so you've got you've got your card so turn it like um, portrait and you're going to fold this piece down so you're going to fold one of those little flaps to the inside so then you're going to turn this piece over and this is sort of going to sit in between so sort of eyeball it and like um, sit that in between like on that flap there so so I've popped it there so then if you look at that like it's just like when you open it up you open it up the card so you fold that little bit down and pop that there but I'll show you on this one again so, so you've got your card with all your score lines so you just fold that piece down and then I'm going to try to get I've got some overhang of my score tape but that's okay my tear tape score tape okay so I'm going to do the same thing as I'm going to hold that piece down and I'm just going to pop that sort of eyeball it and make a sure it's level with the bottom and then just push that down so now what you're going to do is um, I hope you're still following along so hi Jane thanks for joining I hope I haven't missed anybody so what you're going to do now is you're sort of going to bend this piece here and you're going to pop that into that slot so then that's just going to pop through like that and I don't like the way that's going but that's okay I can deal with that in a minute so, so that's that one. And so now we're going to do the same. We're going to bend this little piece down. So just slightly bend it. And then we're going to pop that piece. And it just slip slides right up in there. And then that, that's that piece there. So all we've got to do now to put this card together. So we're going to fold this little, this little tab here. It's going to fold over like that. And we're going to just put some tear tape down the bottom of here. So, so we're just going to put some tear tape. And I'm just going to snip that off. And I'm just going to eyeball that. And I'm just going to pop that piece there. And I'm going to pop this piece here. So I'm, all I'm doing is popping a little bit of tear tape. I'm not going to even try to okay. see how I go with that piece. And you think all the years of um, doing scrapbooking that I'd I'd be used to the tape, but actually I'm going to pop another little piece on that one because I feel it's just not enough. down in there so I'm going to stick that there so that's that one I'll do this one at the same time okay what have I done there right okay open it up so so you should have your little bit poking through there so you just open the card up and I'm just going to take a nice little chunk off here I'm going to work with okay a sick piece there that's a lot easier for me now. Another piece there. And I find now I'm sticking to my craft mat. I found when I done my first one, because I'll show you in a minute, I glued the whole lot like so I stuck glue all along here. And it doesn't slide down as as easy as um because I've done it different to what I was watching on the video um, the, who I followed it from I followed a girl called Cindy oh, I can't think of an, how you pronounce it Brumborg or something like that and I just glued mine and didn't watch hers properly and yeah so I'll stick that there I'll pop that away 
So, yeah, and it, mine, that one didn't, it doesn't slide down. This one doesn't slide down as well. I don't know what it, why, but maybe it's because the way it was glued. So, but when I done this one, this one, like, it does, it slides up and down quite easy. So, but, yeah. So, alrighty, so now I've got those pieces there done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take, and I'm going to grab my bone folder there, and if I knew where I put it. Okay, it's in this little, there you go. So I'm just going to give this a, a little bit of a burnish down. And hopefully try to get my nails to work. And they just don't want to sometimes. Okay. And I'm no good at doing the other way with the... So. Okay. So what time is it? That's all right. We're doing doing well. So I'll, this one here, I've already, I've already got the pieces all pre-cut for that. So... And I just didn't want to waste that piece, so I thought, well, I'll... So I've taken the, the, the um, backings off that tear tape. So I'm going to push this piece down. And then I'm going to fold this whole piece down onto that. And while you've got it like this, that's when you're going to pop this piece here on there and this piece is going sideways but that's okay so because one you're going to cover you'll cover most of that up anyway what's the other side i don't like that side so i'm just going to stick it stick that down and i'm going to pop that piece and if you want to you can cover the whole lot of this area but i chose not to so so i just when you've got it folded up, like, and there you go, it'll pop up like that, and that's that's your card starting to take shape. So, so I'll pop that one there. So this one here, we're going to do the same. So it's clever. It is really clever. So, and. And there's not very many videos on how to do these cards, so, um, yeah. Okay. Hopefully I'll get that piece up. Yep. So there's no overhang. So all I'm going to do is fold this piece down, and then I'm going to fold the whole lot down and over there. So give that a bit of a burnish down and then I'm going to pop this piece here I do like the but I like plaid so I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on that one and that's just going to sit over like that so and there's that part and then all it does is just slides up so you can see how easy it slides up with the whole with no and then all you do is put your fingers under there and then and slide it down so and it does fit into like i showed you a normal envelope so so that's that one and that one done so now what we're going to do now is we're going to decorate um put our little sentiment here so i'm going to do a little bit of stamping and I've got a little piece of, try that one, put them both there anyway. So there are our pieces there. We'll need those for stamping anyway. So I'm going to stamp my sentiments. And with this one here, I'm going to do the same one again. But I've already got my um, flowers all pre-cut from that one. So, and that's the flower that I've cut from and that's from this set here so I use this one sending smiles so and I'm going to stamp this image here onto my white piece and then I'm going to stamp um, 
this flower here or that flower not that flower there I'm going to stamp that onto this piece but this one here I'm not going to put anything on to because I've already pre-cut um, this one I made this from a video that I was doing um, a few weeks ago so I decided I'll use that one and that one's cut from um, Blessings of Home so I've actually colored it in um, and then well stamped it colored it in and then cut it out with the dies but I was just showing you different elements to or different sets that you can use and um, so we're going to use I'm going to be using the small this one here and and I'm going to stamp this one here as well so I'm going to stamp um, I think it's wishing you have a perfect birthday so hopefully that will go I'm going to see if that one will hop on to that one so I'm just going to grab my my block so make sure it's the right way around okay it doesn't really matter anyway so and that's that and I'm going to grab okay what was that one there I'm going to do a different one this time because I seem to have a card to say hello so I might have smiles, all the good luck, oh, sunshine to brighten your day. Um, actually, no, I might just put a card to say hello because I can, maybe I might have a couple of partners and I can send um, these to, to you guys. Okay, card to say hello. And that one there. So I'm just going to use that one again. And I'll sit that there. So I'm going to do this stamping first. So get this one out of the way. And hopefully that one will fit down there. Actually, I might pop that up there. Okay. Have a perfect birthday. So that one there. I'll just get rid of that. Um, side and hubby's decided to mow the lawn I think <laughs> so alrighty so I'm going to pop that one there and I'm going to do the same and I oh know it's a neighbor so everyone seems to mow the lawn so I suppose it is Sunday so okay and I'm going to just going to pop that one down there and so I'll let them dry for a second and I'll cut them in a second. So that one's already done. So now I've got to grab my, my little leaf plant. So I send cards like these to my in-laws as a challenge. They often need a photo or video to make them. That's a good idea. So, so I've just got my leaf plant, um, my leaf stamp here. And I'm going to grab, hopefully I didn't show I've got stuff everywhere in this room. So, so I'm going to grab my old olive and I'm just going to stamp that up. Just put it over there. So I'm going to pop that sort of over to the side so I can fit my leaves in. And I'm just going to pop that about. Um, be down just a tad just working out on that card there I'm just going to stamp it there so and that's my leaf for that one so I'll pop that over there and get rid of that and then I'm going to grab my little flower and because this one I'm going to change up the color of this one because this is red and it's got the red flower on the white I was thinking about doing I might do this one and just see the orchid oasis so bring a little bit of purple in so I'm just gonna stamp this image up and I'm just gonna pop that one about there and I quite like that one too so and then I'm gonna grab my little tiny stamp because this one's already done I've got a wee little one here that I'm going to pop 
the crush curry. I've got ink pads everywhere. So I've just got a tiny little, and that's just going to go on the inside of there. And I'm not really worried because I'll cover it up with a little bead. So that's those out of the way. And I would have done the same thing. I would have stamped this flower and done that. But I already had one cut out. So but anyway. So, so that's that part. So that will go in there. And the reason why I stamped that, and you'll see in a minute. So and I'm going to stick those on now. But how I found to stick them on was a lot easier. Was... Um, it's not going to work this time. Okay, I cut too much off that side. I think is I brought this down a little bit, and you can actually fold it down. So I just done that, and then I'm going to pop this one on some with um, some glue. So. And I hope I'm not going too fast, so. And I'm just going to pop that up there. So, and hopefully I've got that straight. And the reason why I didn't put a, another flower here, I had them to the top. So I'll show you in a minute when I, and that needs to go over just a little bit more. So. So is when you um so now I've done that piece. So when you pop that back up in there and that your card, when you slide this up, and I hope you can hear me over the lawnmower. It's quite loud that okay. So when you pop it up and you're closing it, you don't want anything to um to stop you from sliding. So now I've got that flower there. I'm going to pop this one up on some dimensionals and and then we'll do the sentiment in a minute for both of those. I'll do both of these together. And um, okay, trying to find my, my dimensionals. So, actually, I might use these ones. I've got a happy birthday sticker stuck to that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals. On the back of that. Okay, that one. And I'm going to do the same with, with that in a minute. I won't do that just yet. So, so what I'm going to do while this is closed is I'm going to pop pop that on there, so you know you're not going too far down. So, and it doesn't matter if it, it like pops up a little bit off the top there, but. Um, I'm just going to pop that about there. And I know what I was going to do on here. I was going to stamp, put a little stamp there, but it's okay. So now, when you close that now, and once you've played around with it, and they do go like closed up and down, it's just that they're a bit stiff because you haven't used, like, moved them. So that's that. So I'm going to hold that down because I need to do that one. So this one here I'm going to do. So I'm going to pop this piece onto there. So I'm going to glue that piece. And I'm going to show you don't have to um, take it down to... It's a lot easy. It's easy to do, a lot easy. It's easy to do. So then you just stick that. Um, so you've got a little bit of a border all the way around. So, but um, yeah, I like to change things up. And you can use an oval shape on here. You can use um, a circle. I'm sure you could use a circle. Um, yeah, it's really up to your imagination what you do. So because this one here we need is going to slide down a little bit, so I need to bring him up a little bit. I'm just going to see how this one may not work, but. Um, and it may do so um, okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue put some glue on the bottom of here so I'm just going to glue this one to the bottom okay 
I'll pop that back up. And I'm going to glue, so I've just stuck some glue on there, and I'm going to pop that about there. And just hold that a little bit. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in a second. So, once that's glued down, I'm going to pop that into there. So, if you're going to do ones like that, you need to be... And see, while it's down there, then I'm just going to pop this little piece here. And I'm just going to pop one dimensional underneath that. And I'm sort of going to give it a, a pop. So I'm just going to stick that there. And, and I just wanted to see whether these worked. If you didn't want that, I can't even get the backing off that. Okay. Come on, you. Okay. And that sort of gives it that bit of a pop there. So, I've got dimensionals going everywhere, the backings anyway. So, now I'm going to pop those aside. I'm going to come back and I'm going to bring in my little um, cut and emboss machine. So, and I'm just going to have a look. So I may that one little one might do that one, and this big one may do this big one here. So there you go. So I'm just going to cut those both out. So I'll stick my cards over there for a minute, out of the way, and bring in my little cut and emboss machine. So, my mini little baby. Okay. And hopefully I don't, um, anyone following along. <laughs> I hope you are. So, I know, um, oh, Susan is. So, she said she could keep up. So, I'm just going to snip a little bit of this off. And I'm going to cut these both at the same time. So, okay, so I'm going to grab some little bit of tape and pop that one on there and that one on there and I'm just going to take that one down a little bit. Oh, that's what I forgot too. It's okay. I can do that later, so I'm just going to pop, cut that in half, and I'm just using a little bit of scotch tape to tape that down until I get my new, um, okay, you can sit there, and, okay, so pop this on. And hopefully you enjoy watching and learning for now. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you are all here watching. So I'm glad that I'm not crafting on my own. Also, I'm just holding that so it doesn't bounce. Okay. Okay, so got those two pieces there. I'll pop this back down on the floor. I might need that in a second because I did forget to um, add that little flower but that's okay. So we're nearly nearly finished so I haven't really got much more to do. I only just um, pop the ribbon on. So that one's there. Okay. And that one there. So then this one here I'm going to pop on here just to say hello and I do need a little flower there but um, I can pop that on later and this one here will go along there. So what I'm going to do is pop them up on some mini some mini dimensionals like I like to use the real mini ones so I'm just going to pop a few along there. Okay. I like to put about four on um, on these. So that's that one. And this one here. 
and I've tried a few different ribbons I find that the softer the ribbon the better so I like to and it looks nicer so that's why I ended up using um, the mesh I think it's called mesh I'll tell you in a minute metallic mesh ribbon so I'm just going to use that not quite like it so so I'm just going to take all the backings off these I'll use this side so I'm just going to take all the backings off and, and if anyone's ever followed along with my um, on my YouTube channel you'll notice that I, I like making different fun folds so I'm going to hold pop that one onto there I left that so I can I'm not going to add a flower to the bottom of this one so that's not straight okay doesn't look straight to me okay I'll go back that's better so I'm going to pop some bling onto that one in a minute. So I'm just going to pop that one up and get ready for my... And this one here I'm going to pop on here. But um, I need a flower so I might have to quickly... Or I can add one of those later. So I thought I had a, a flower to go on there. So I'm just going to stick that about there. It's hard when you're trying to stick it on and, and that's that's pretty good. So that's those there. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop some of this mesh. I'm just gonna pop that and I like to tie it on when I actually I like to tie it from the ball. So this one I might just do in a knot because I've got one in a knot and one in a um, and you can I can ask you what um, you prefer. I'm just going to fold fold that, tie that into a knot, and okay. Okay, and that's into a knot. I'll just snip that bit off and then this one here I'm going to tie into a bow or attempt to tie into a bow so, and man bows I get a bit challenged when I'm doing bows on, on video so take a little bit more of that and I just love this mesh it's really nice for um, any cards and that so I'm trying to do this while I'm so okay so I'm going to do a bow and attempt to do a bow I normally do bunny ears but um, that bow is pretty good so I'm just going to bring you there I'm going to snip you off about there okay get rid of that your card's nearly complete, so it, like I said, it's an easy card, and um, and my bow is going a little bit there, but I'm not going to muck around with that too much. So, and there's that bow there, so you can have it on the side, you can have it in the middle. I haven't really got one. Oh yeah, that one's in the middle. So that one there I've had in the middle. So, but I like that one to the side there, so you can have that one to the side. And this one here, I might pop into the middle. Just have a knot in the middle. So, and I do love, like I said, I do that one went quite out properly. But I do love that um, that ribbon. So the mesh ribbon. And I'm just going to open that. We go back the other way. Right. Okay, there you go. So. And all I've got to do now is I'll add a flower to that one. I just won't um, like, but I'll put a picture of them all up. Um, so what I'm going to do now is all I've got left to do is I'll pop them there so you can see them better. So I'm going to grab my bling and my Winter Stella. So I'm going to grab some bling. Okay. So 
I will have to go this afternoon. I will have a go this afternoon. I hope you do, Chrissy. So, uh, I forgot I have those little framey things. Must look for them. What little framey things are they? The. Yeah. But, um, I'm just going back. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what little framey things you've got, but um, I love the, both the ribbon options, but I think I'm drawn more to the bow. Yeah, I just wanted to show you two. I love bows, but I just wanted to show you, um, like, different one, like, different bows and things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the bling, and I've got a mess here, so if you can only see my room. So, what ones are we going to use? Now, I might use, um, I'm going to use some new ones. So I'm going to see if I can find some colours in those. The purple might go with that one. So, I'm just going to use some of these glassy dots. I like these because they're thin and, like, they're not as sticky up. <laughs> sticky up. as uh, Not as raised as, um, and they're the glassy dots that I'm going to use. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop these down. And I just like to do this because you don't want too many on here and they're going to get stuck. So, I'm just going to fold the card down. Okay. And it looks pretty when it's, it's down. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So, and this is how to um, make sure your cards, like when you put your your dots on. Okay, come on you. Okay. Once you played around with them a bit, they they do like go up and down quite easy. I might have to cut a little bit off those. I might do that. Oh, that's better. Right, so Got stuff everywhere. I'm grab my tacky pick tool, and I'm just going to stick. I'm going to pop some um, the purple ones on here. So I'm going to go little tiny ones here. Okay, come on, you. I'm just going to pop one there, I reckon. So let's pop one there. I like to go in threes. So I'm just going to pop. Come on. I'm just going to pop these in the center of the flower and the reason why I um, that's why I said make sure it's shut so you know where your your um, bling's going to go so see I might take I might try that big one I'm going to go go bold okay and then stuck to the and that's the middle of that so there's three on that one and this one here, I'm just going to go with the, the yellow like I did on the last one. And I'm just going to pop one there. And I will pop one on the flower down here. So, actually, I might quickly do that because I don't like to leave a, a card um, with nothing on it. So, actually, and then they'll be all complete and I'll be ready to um, post them out when I have to. So I'm just going to do this colour again. I'm going to grab my little piece here that won't take me long at all. So I'm going to find my little stamp. Okay. Where are you gone? There you are. So, um, you finished yours, Susan? Oh, that's good. I'd love to see a photo of it. So, alrighty. So, I've got that much stuff in here. I'm trying to work out where I'm. So I'm just going to pop that one down there. Maybe that was a different flower to I used before. But no, that's all right. I'm going to use that one anyway. And and then I'm going to grab my little little middle with my you know, just my little dot. And I'm just going to pop him in there. A bit more. And then, I'll get that out of the way, and I'll just bring my little cutter back in again, and 
and I'll cut that little flower. So I need my my dies. I've got dies everywhere in this room. Okay, so that's that one. And make sure I haven't used this one yet. I've just stamped the stamp, but I haven't used the die. So I'm going to grab need some of that little grab this tear tape. No, not tear tape. Me scratch tape. I'm just going to line that up. Make sure that. It's lined up there, and okay. I'm just going to run that through quickly, and and it's on my I'm I'm left-handed, but I'm going to go righty now. So okay, I hope that hasn't um you put it up on the group page. So I like I would love to see um different interpretations of this card so but um I was gonna say you don't mind Sally if I put it up on YouTube so I'd like to um pop it up in there so other people can come and have a look so okay right so now I'm just gonna pop that into there and it's gonna sit I'm just going to sit that there, and it's going to be up, up on um, some dimensionals as well. So, there's my big ones gone. There they are. So, okay. I'm just going to pop one on there and take the backing off that, and then that will sit. I like it like that. And that will just sit there. And that that completes it. So actually, it doesn't complete it yet because I've got to put some bling on that one, and I've got to put a bit of Winx Stella on the other one up there. So we're going to pop one of these. Okay, just a tiny little one on there, and that is it. That is my car done. Once I've done my Winx Stella, so. So I'm just going to pop. That was. I'm just going to pop a little bit of yellow, like a bit of, just to bring highlight that there. So it looks like it's um, a bit of bling. I just didn't want to have too much bling on that. And then the same on this one. I'm not going to. So wash that one. So I'm just going to go around the flowers on here and just give these flowers a little bit of bling. So, okay, I need to pop that. And if you're doing that, make sure you um, wash your brush before you put it into the next colour. And there you go. So that is my fun fold card for today. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you all give it a go and um, I'm getting rid of all this stuff so I can bring them all back out and show you so like I said I love um, love doing the thumbfold cards so that's them down so which one do you prefer my bow is going a little bit crazy there so I may have to change that so and it's going going weird. Don't want to pull it too far. So so which one do you prefer? Do you like the the pink or the fresh rosier purple? Or do you like the red? So and like I said, these are the ones that I made um the other day. So I will pop them ones down. So that's that one and that was the first one I made, so Thanks for taking, that's okay, so enjoyed it, working long, you love the purple one, you like the red, the purple, I like the purple, <laughs> my hubby likes the pink one here that I'm trying to get down, like I said this one's hard to get down because it's my my first um, original one, but I will take some photos of all these and I'll pop them on the page so you can see them um, 
see them down, see them up. So, um, but hopefully they're all in there and um, nothing else is with it. So, and I'll turn. But yeah, but anyway, you like all the colours. So, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Susan. So, and you like the purple one. But, alrighty then, I'm going to go and let you all go and have some lunch. And I was hoping to be on here an hour. And um, so, I've been 10 minutes over an hour. But that's okay. I'm, I've done really well to get it all done today for you. So, but you love them all. So, but anyway, I'll let you go and have your lunch. And I'll put all the pictures up later and um you better go and have a have a look at them all like up and like so but alrighty then thank you very much thanks uh, Kerry so some days I can do good videos other days I can do horrible ones so, but well not horrible but um I'm all over the place but I feel like I've done really well today so you love them all Chrissy Alrighty, I'm going to go and I'm going to let you all enjoy the rest of your afternoon and um, I hope you give this a go and um, pop your pictures up and show me what you've created. So, Alrighty then, I'm going to go. Bye for now.